got this. <laughs> What's up everybody? Today I'm in the Bronx visiting my friend and I don't really find myself up here that often but we were walking past this really cool safety wear store. I've never been in the store before so I don't really know what I'm going to find but the store isn't really made for fashion since it is safety wear workwear so I'm gonna have to get very creative and put together a few outfits. Hopefully they'll let us film otherwise we're gonna be a little low-key but I'll see you guys inside. Okay, so I just found this belt. So literally, like, if a designer was to like put their logo on this, this could be so expensive, like hundreds of dollars. Oh, good, great. If I can hang off a building while still looking very chic. I found these sunglasses, and they were three for ten. So I picked out a yellow pair, a blue pair, and a black pair. And these are honestly giving me very Y2K vibes. And then I picked up two hats. So this one is giving me very golf vibes. Guys, I'm going golfing. Forget the video. We won't miss you on the course. You'll light up. No, but this is cute. It's good. It's good. Um, but I really liked the neon color since that's very trendy. And the plaid. I'm always a big fan of plaid. I really like this one, though, because it had the reflective zipper and the brim right here. And so, like, that that's not something I've seen before in a ski mask. I see this on Depop a lot. Um, but this one's definitely cheaper if you get it from a store like this. For the best item of this haul, I am going to get this blue waterproof set. It's like pants and a jacket. Not only will I be prepared if it <laughs> is raining, I'm gonna look as hot as this guy. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this to the register and see how much everything comes out to be. <laughs> All right, so I just got back and I put together four outfits to show you guys using the pieces I just picked up. And this is the first outfit. So I paired the black belt and the black sunglasses with this sweater set that for the first outfit, I paired the black sunglasses and the black belt that I just picked up with a sweater set that I thrifted when I was in LA, and if you haven't seen that video yet, you should check it out. The sunglasses were 3 for 10, so I used the black pair for this outfit, and then the black belt was $8. Since this skirt and sweater set is pretty baggy, I thought it would be cool to pair the black belt to cinch the waist and kind of break up the neutral colors of the outfit. And for this outfit, I put my hair in a ponytail because, again, since the outfit's pretty baggy, I didn't want so much going on if my hair was down, so I just put that up to get out of my face. To get out of my face. I paired these with my docks because both the docks and the belt have grommets on them, so I thought those paired really nicely together. This is the second outfit. I'm feeling cozy. I'm feeling warm out here in New York City. When I saw this ski mask, I knew this is something I just needed to have. So, you know, obviously this is the highlight of the outfit. I want to make a joke about being like a highlighter, but <laughs> I'm not that funny. Since we're going for that cozy look, I paired it with my Stone Island jacket and like the logo of Stone Island matches this. So I thought that was like a simple little, simple detail of the coordinating colors I thought looked really good. For the bottoms, I am wearing a pair of plaid pants that I just picked up from L Train Vintage in Brooklyn the other day. And then I'm just wearing a black turtleneck because there's already a lot going on with the ski mask and the plaid pants. For all these outfits, I pair them with my docks because these are just my go-to boot right now. Is that good? Perfect. <laughs> For the third look, I paired the hat and sunglasses that I picked up from the store with my Ricchetti pants. When I first saw the hat, it reminded me of a Kangol hat, which I know are very poppin' on Depop right now. Poppin' on Depop. But something that's different about this one is the mesh on the sides with the plaid on top. I really like that combination. I thought these pants would work really well with the items I picked up at the safety store because they are workwear inspired already with the metal detailing and the pockets. The woman who designed these pants is actually a friend of mine, and she makes such cute items, so you should check her out. It'll just pop up, right? Yeah. Okay. This is the fourth and final look, and I saved the best for last, because this is a full rain suit, so you know when the drip is too much, you're prepared. Is that still funny? That's good. <laughs> Okay, so this set was $30, which honestly, like if you were to see this in opening ceremony or any boutique store like that in Soho, this would literally be like $180 at least, even like 
each piece I don't know but for the full set I paid $30 at the safety store and blue is my favorite color right now so when I saw this I just knew I needed to have it because I definitely will wear this again the only thing is it's a bit loud but you know it's cute so it's fine i paired them with these very y2k sunglasses in blue as well and my bootleg louis vuitton bucket hat that i thrifted thank you guys so much for watching if you want to go check out the store yourself i left the name and address in the description below and if you want to see more videos like this where i go into non-traditional stores and style outfits let me know in the comments below <laughs> peace out sky squad <laughs>